All right, guys, let's look at this cornet in the daylight here. Here she is in daylight. Cheap Mopar. See what you can get for under a thousand dollars. Doesn't have to be a Chevy or a Ford. You can get a B body for under a thousand bucks. Oh no, it's all there. Um, missing one glass and a door glass. Like I said, anybody can do this. You can find it in Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, word of mouth. Tell people, friends, you look what you're looking for. Um, this is actually an 18 foot trailer for the big old B bodies. 18 foot trailer works the best. Um, dual axle. Actually, this is a straight back. You can see it's straight. The uh, beaver tail or uh, dove tail, some people call it. Actually, V's down closer to the ground. Um, makes it easier to load. Because, you know, these vehicles are pretty low to the ground. So, um, I'd recommend... I have a 16-foot, too. I'm bringing some vehicles with 16-foot. And, I mean, they'll fit fine. It's just uh, because we had to load this one backwards. Um, you want to get the um, center and mass underneath the axles. And you can see with the engine up front, the center and mass hangs lower, farther back. So I had to put this car all the way on the trailer as far as I could go um, to try to get that, get some weight on the tongue. And uh, so 18 foot works better for that. Um, pulls better. Um, if you don't have one, you can rent one from um, U-Haul. Rent a dolly or a trailer. Um, borrow one from a friend. Of course, a winch would be nice. Um, didn't have a winch, had to come along. Still a lot of work getting it on with come along by hand. Especially when it doesn't roll. Um, you know, if I would have went out on a Saturday and picked it up, you know, I would have had more time in daylight. Um, in the evening after work, it gets hard. To, uh, it's hard to see. It makes it harder to load. You can see the dirt on the tires. Of course, they were all flat. But it was pretty buried. We did um, take it out. I haven't seen how underneath it is. I don't imagine it's very good. <laughs> Rear frame rails, a common rust out spot first. You can see that's gone, rear frame rail. That one's pretty holy. Gas tank's still there, amazingly. On the bottom side, don't know how it is on the top side. See this side. Here's the frame rail. It was good on this side. So the low, the rear frame rail and then this back cross piece cross member it's fairly good but these unibody mopars a lot of times you know the, the trunk seal will leak water will get down in the trunk the back glass um these corners will collect water rust out and leak uh, if you have a vinyl top 
vinyl top is not painted underneath so it'll rust and uh you can see there the factory lead bondo now but factory lead seam is out on this side some surface rust on this side uh so typical classic mopar uh the seals leak on the trunk the rear window leaks and you get water in the trunk which rides out your trunk floor and your gas tank of course after sitting for 20 30 years the fuel turns into back into tar and uh, usually it's not much count um, trying to clean out the gas tank you can get a new one for around 200 bucks um, then the, the uh, cross member let's see the cross member there's a frame rail goes up front and then cross member from side to side for the torsion bars that's the next place um the window seals leak leak water down in the doors which leaks water down into floor pans um windshield gasket will leak leak water into the floor pans which will go down through the the um, cross member. So that's kind of what to look for when these things have been setting outside. Of course, the top fenders on the inside. Um, this one, some surface rust there. Um, a body, um, they're real bad because they have a flat, a wide flat area, and uh, they'll rust out pretty easily um, just sitting. Um, these B bodies don't have as big of a lip and it's normally not too big of a deal to rust out. I mean, it all depends on, looks like previous damage there. And, uh, so, of course, having the carpet and the insulation doesn't help when you get water inside and it stays in that carpet holds moisture so that it rusts out even faster uh, of course headliner falling down uh, you see the steering column somebody didn't have a key so they kind of broke the steering column try to free it up so that's that's a mess um as we said when we try to move it it's locked you can't get it in neutral but Luckily, somebody had already, see this wire here? Somebody had unhooked the drive shaft and uh, tied that wire to it. So we didn't have to get the transmission in neutral. The drive shaft was unhooked. But it wasn't like the wheels spun anyway. <laughs> the wheels just slid in the dirt. And then we had problems once it hit, the back wheels hit the ramp. Um, Luckily, the guy I picked it up from, he um, had some boards. So we put some boards down on the ramp. Tires slid on the boards. And uh, it's kind of like skis. You know, you bring it up on the trailer with skis. So that's basically what we did. But it took like four hours of work just to get this thing loaded. Um, but... Definitely you can make a um, cop car clone out of it. These Dodge four door cornets. I love the rear front ends of them. How it's pretty flat across the front. The grill. To me, it's a prettier front end than the Roadrunners of the same year. 73, 74 Roadrunner. I mean, I don't like how it um, has those scallops in it in the front end. So all in all, this is pretty much the same body as Black Betty. 73 Plymouth Satellite Custom. See here. Here's Black Betty.
course, different tail lights. Maybe a different bumper. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, same doors. I think it's the same doors. Um, same hood, same fenders. Grill's different. Um, and the front bumper. Maybe the same. I don't know what all is the same. But Black Betty's in, was in a little better shape. Um, you know, Black Betty was not long from running. I mean, it was on the road, um, you know, probably a few years before I bought it. So it, it wasn't hard to get it running and uh, didn't have to do a whole lot of work to it. So you had to pay more up front. You get a little better car. Um, but you can still get a... Um, Almost running, um, you know, four door for probably around two grand, um, two, three grand easy. And not running, you know, sitting a long time, hey, under a thousand bucks, nothing else. Got some parts. Um, the doors. For four door trunk lid, and I have to compare that rear bumper. And the front bumper, yeah, I think the front bumper is different. But it's probably interchangeable. Now I'm pretty sure the, um, of course the car itself is a 71 and the doors are off of a 72 or three because you can see there's no, no trim on the door, but there was on, on the car. So that makes sense because the sticker inside the door, it was manufactured in 72, but the, because of the markers on the fenders and the quarter panel, it's a 71. So that makes sense. The dash then says it's 71. And so I painted the doors white while they're on the car. See that? Like I said, I think um, previous owner, before the guy I bought it from, he was making a clone cop car out of it. So I, I think he's just making a black and white out of it. Guy said he had some uh, lights on in the trunk when he bought it. I guess he took them out. And uh, the previous owner put these big push bars on it on the front. And on the back. That's the first time I've seen anything like that on the back. But all the trims there. Yep, depending on, we'll see what, uh, I mean, the engine's stuck, but uh, we'll see. The boy that I bought it from, he said it was turning like a year ago, but he also said that it was only there for 10 years. When I talked to uh, his father, helped me get this thing out. He said, you know, it was at least 20 years has been there. Um, so... Who knows how long it was before it locked up. But the carb and the air cleaner was on it. Obviously, the uh, there was no air filter in it. So, mice, you know, made a home in, in the air cleaner. And, of course, that's going to put some moisture down the intake. So, yeah. Stay tuned. We'll do a little work on it. See if we can get this thing turning. I'll take the plugs out and soak the um, cylinders with some ATF or uh, Marvel's Mr. Oil. Let that soak for a while and uh, check the um, AC compressor might be locked up, causing, you know, engine to feel like it's locked up. Just have to take a look and see. Alternator too, but it still has all the belts on it and uh, wouldn't turn by hand, so... 
We'll have to investigate it. Look in a little further and see what's going on. But that's it in a nutshell. Cheap Mopars, four door B bodies, Dodge Cornet or Plymouth Satellite. Um, you can get A body, um, A body Barracudas like um, 64 through 66. You can get those pretty cheap. Um, 67 through 69, you can get inexpensive. Barracudas came notched back and fastbacks. Give you some options. That'll be able to do it for this one. Thanks for watching.